What is the presence of God? Long ago, Adam and Eve had intimate fellowship in the presence of God in the Garden of Eden. But ever since the fall, sin has prevented our ability to be in the physical presence of God. However, we as believers have the indescribable privilege of experiencing the presence of God because of His indwelling Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes and dwells in us and fills us only through our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. So let us not take this beautiful privilege for granted. There is nothing more precious and powerful than the presence of God. It is what we were created to experience every day of our new lives found in Jesus. And yet there are times that God can feel distant. There are seasons when we can feel detached from His presence and be unable to hear His voice clearly. But let us be reminded today that God's presence is not based on our feelings, but on the very truth found in the Bible. In Exodus 33 verse 14 it says, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And so even though you may not physically see the pillar of cloud by day, the pillar of fire by night, God says this to you, I won't abandon you, I won't forsake you, and my heart is for you. Jesus is passionately in love with you, and He longs for you to experience the wondrous gift of His presence every single day of your life. The Creator formed us, the Created, to be in intimate relationship with Him and to draw close to Him in His presence. And we've read so many accounts of God's miraculous work that sometimes we wonder if we can experience the same thing today. Let's be assured that the same God who walked with Moses, with Joshua, Elijah, Peter, James, John, and Paul dwells in you today. The same God who gave them victory and breakthrough against seemingly invincible enemies and seemingly impossible situations is with you. The same God who provided for their every lack and insufficiency is your Jehovah Jireh today. And the same God who took five loaves and two fish to feed thousands upon thousands can multiply what looks like so little in our hands. In Psalm 34 it says, The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and His ears are attentive to their cry. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. There is no shame in confessing to the Holy Spirit that we are feeling crushed and broken this season. The best place to start with God is always honesty. He wants us to be real with Him. God cannot heal what we do not confess, but He delights in reaching out to us to heal what we reveal. Would you invite the presence of God into your life today? Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, it is such an honor and privilege to be able to have your holy presence dwelling in us always. We do not want to forget the price you paid to make it possible for us to encounter your living presence in our lives each day. We declare our faith in you, Jesus, and your work on the cross, because this is what opens the door to the Holy Spirit coming in to renew us, to refresh our hearts, to restore our hope and joy in the midst of your mighty presence. Help us to walk obediently with you every day and let your presence overflow from our lives so that even those around us can catch a glimpse of who you are and the light that you shine. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.